The Max Perut Science Writing Award is one of a number of initiatives the MRC runs to encourage, support and reward our scientists for communicating their research to the public. This annual reward, which started in 1998, is named after one of the MRC's, and indeed the UK's, most outstanding scientists and communicators, Dr Max Perutz. Max was also a keen and talented communicator and inspired countless students to share their research using everyday language to the people whose lives are improved by their work. The award has been and will continue to be an important part of the MRC's mission to engage the public on the research that we fund and one of the best ways of doing this is by equipping our scientists to convey the importance and excitement of their work in an accessible way. The competition asks MRC-funded early career researchers to explain why their research matters in only 800 words. The 2012 award received over 100 entries from MRC facilities and universities across the country. The winner, runner-up and three highly commended writers were announced at an award ceremony in central London on Wednesday the 12th of September. I think that writing is the kind of thing they can really get better at with practice. And I, I have to say that I think starting your own blog is a great way to become a science writer because you can hone all those skills and you can get your name out. So even before you publish your first piece, people could know who you are. So the Max Perutz Award is one of the highlights of the MRC's calendar uh, and a really important encouragement to our mission of engaging the public in medical research. Uh, we get fantastic applications from PhD students and early career scientists and I just want to encourage everyone who's in that category, lucky enough to be in that category of being a young scientist, to think about putting an application in next year for our centenary year and we're going to think of a very, very uh, attractive prize for next year. It can't be as difficult as submitting your paper to Nature, you know, just writing a piece. It's, it's not like you're putting your life in the line, you're just having a bit of fun and, and, and expressing your research to a wider audience. Well, I, uh, I've always been interested in writing and journalism and um, English literature and um, when the opportunity came along I just thought I'd try and see how far I could get. Um, well I think it was um, really interesting to be given the opportunity to write about your work in a way that is uh, accessible to everybody. It gave us the opportunity to write it in a really different way to anything we've ever done before. And then getting the opportunity to have the workshops was also really good. I learned a lot from those. When you're a scientist, you're so often like bogged down by all the jargon and you're doing a lot of scientific writing, but it's really interesting to think from an outside perspective about how your work is important. And I really wanted to see if I could tr communicate that effectively, basically. Somebody in my lab did it last year and he said it was very worthwhile. He said it really helped him with general science writing, so not just kind of specific kind of journalism um, type writing, he said it was very helpful and everything else and I just thought I'm interested in my subject, I might as well try and write about it and hopefully other people are interested in it. Well actually I had my first year report, my first year viva and my external, external examiner read my first year report and he was pretty scathing and he said that my English for a native English speaker was appalling. And so I moped around for about five weeks and then I decided to, I saw this competition that got sort of passed around as an email and I decided to enter it and, and see if anyone else thought that my writing was bad. And so yeah, that's part of the reason I feel really proud to put the final because that kind of reconfirms to me that, you know, I'm not so bad at writing. I've always enjoyed writing and it's one of the best bits of science for me, probably better than actually being in the lab itself. And um, I've been thinking a little bit about careers lately, coming to the end of the PhD, thinking about other things I might like to do afterwards. Um, other things I could do that don't involve actually being in a lab but involve science and science writing came up and then the email came through about this competition so I thought it would be an ideal chance to see if I'm actually any good at it. I've always liked writing um, and I, I, I care about the science I do so it seemed like a great chance to, to write about it in an accessible way and get, get more people interested. Writing something that I've never been that confident in, so um, it was a good opportunity just to, to write something. Oh, it's really nice. It's a really big surprise, actually. Um, actually, I entered last year, um, and then I kind of entered again just on the off chance, and so I was really surprised to get the email through. It's really nice surprise. I felt it was an opportunity to write in a, to a non-scientific audience. Um, uh, put across why I'm actually doing what I'm doing to an audience that is bigger than 
the one I'm used to working with. Um, and I'm constantly being asked what am I doing, so I thought this was a great way of putting it down the paper. <laughs>